，所以你们要彼此认罪，互相代求，使你们可以得医治。一人祈祷所发的力量是大有功效的。”雅各书五十六。Devotional. How to heal? Imagine a sick person who won't tell anyone about their symptoms. Without help, getting through their illness would be challenging. Whether they need help from a doctor or just someone checking to see how they're doing, it's much easier to heal with the help of others. Similarly, when we don't tell anyone about the challenges we are facing, it can be hard to walk through them. Sometimes we do things we know are wrong, but we don't tell anyone about it simply because we know it's wrong. This is because we are all affected by sin, our wrongdoing, and the brokenness. That separate us from God. It can be hard to share our wrongdoings with others, but when we keep our sin to ourselves, we are like the sick person who won't ask for help. We suffer in isolation rather than allowing others to help us heal. James 5:16 tells us to share our wrongdoings. With others, with other believers, so that we can heal together and pray for one another. When we share our past mistakes with someone, we are released from isolation. And when we pray together, we give God the opportunity to heal our hearts. God is our healer. He saved us from the eternal consequences of sin through His Son Jesus, and because of Jesus, we have access to a relationship with God, and we can bring our requests to Him and trust that He will hear us. This doesn't mean God will always. Answer our prayers in the way we think they should be answered. Instead, when we share our brokenness with Him, He invites us on a journey that will help us grow closer to Him. If you are struggling with something today, take some time to share it with a trusted believer. Allow them to. Pray with you and ask God to guide you as you heal. Prayer, God, I don't want to face my challenges alone. I've made mistakes in the past, and to move forward, I know I need help from others. Please give me the courage to confess my mistakes to trusted people. Surround me with a community who's willing to hear my struggles. Pray with me and encourage me to live more like you each day. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name, Amen. Scripture. So, you must confess your sins to each other and pray together, so that you may be healed. 一人祈祷所发的力量是大有功效的。雅各书五十六。Therefore, confess your sins to each other and pray for each other, so that you may be healed. The prayer of a righteous person is a powerful and effective. James five sixteen. Honor God, God, with everything that I am. I wish to honor you. Show me how to live a life that is in line with your character. Teach me how to live a life that brings you glory. 
You are worthy of all my praise, attention, love, and affection. Thank you for drawing me closer to your heart. Thank you for loving me. Today, I want to honor you. Amen. My concerns. 所以，你们若真与基督一同复活，就当求在上面的事。那里有基督坐在神的右边。哥罗西书三一。Are there any parts of this verse that you have a hard time believing? Talk to God honestly about what you need and how you feel. Make your requests known to Him. God's protection. 我惧怕的时候，要依靠你。我依靠神，我要赞美他的话。我依靠神，必不惧怕。血气之辈，能把我怎么样呢？诗篇五十六，三到四。What do you need to trust the God with right now? Make this worth your prayer when you feel overwhelmed, unqualified. Or uncertain, allow God to change the way you think by refreshing your mind with His truth.